Hey, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Insomniac Baseball. It's about 2.15 a.m. And um, it's New York at Cleveland. New York has been struggling as of late. 15 and 13, third place. Facing Cleveland Indians, 15 and 15 in seventh place. And let's go over the lineups quickly for the visiting Yankees. Tony Kubik at short. Lopez, the left fielder. Maris in right. Mantle, cleanup in center field. Barra batting fifth. Catcher sixth is Skyron, the first baseman. Seventh is Boyer at third base. Eighth is Bobby Richardson, the second baseman. And ninth is Bob Turley, the pitcher for the Yankees. The hometown Indians. It's Temple, the second baseman. Dillard, the center fielder. Left fielder, Francona. Cleanup is Power, the first baseman. Right fielder, Kirkland, batting fifth. Sixth is Romano, the catcher. Shortstop is Held. Seventh, eighth is the third baseman, Phillips. And ninth is Jim Perry. And first batter is Tony Kubik. And the pitch from Perry. And he drives it way back to right center field and that ball is in the seats home run leadoff home run for Tony Kubik now I'm wondering what home run that is for him so it's a home run and that will be his second home run of the season and the Yankees lead it one nothing here is uh, Hector Lopez who hit into well hit for the cycle in yesterday's game which I did not uh, record. This is a 4 3, and that's a tapper right back to the mound, fielded by Perry, and he throws him out for the first out of the game. Here's Roger Maris. And a 54, that's a drive to right center field. On the run is Kirkland, and he chases it down for the second out. A little background crowd sound. There we go. Mickey Mantle, the Mick, center fielder, pitch 52, down to Phillips at third, feels it and throws out the Mick, one run on one hit, the solo home run by Tony Kubik, and we go to the bottom of the first, Johnny Temple leading off against Bob Turley, who's a YW, and that's a 66, that's going to be a zero, and a 62 is going to be one hop off the wall. Digging for second is Temple, the throw, not in time, lead off double. All right, had to create the card for Don Dillard. Remember that this is the actual 61 set, they only made 20 players, so Dillard would, they could not include Dillard in this set. But he, so I made it using uh, Steve's card computer. He's got a pretty good card. Here's a pitch from Turley, and it's a 54. It's a fly ball right field. This may allow Temple, who is fast, to make it to third. And he will tag up, and he goes to third on that fly to right. The throw comes in to the shortstop. All right, so one out. Runner on third infield is going to be in for the Yanks. Francona, 61 of 40 with the infield in. And that's going to be a fly out deep enough to center for a sack. And the game is tied. So Francona drives one to center field. And right there is Mantle. Tagging is Temple. The game is tied at one. Here's a big power. That's from the right side. A pitch from Turley, a 56 and a 41. <laughs> 41 is going to be a ball. Her hit right back to Turley. Picks it up and throws it over Scourin's head. The ball goes into right field. And Maris is going to retrieve it. Going into second base it is going to be power with an E1. Two base error by the pitcher. And Turley pounds the glove. 
against this thigh, not happy about that. So two out, one on, the two base error by the pitcher, and here's Kirkland. Boom, boom, Kirkland. Strike three. And that the inning is over. One run on one hit. And the score is one to one. Here comes Yogi Berra. He's a catcher today for the Yankees with a 26, and that's cracked to left Francona and Dillard. But it's Francona who makes the call for out number one. Scowling. And he checks his swing, but the they check with the first base umpire and he rings him up and Scowling doesn't like it. Two out. And Boyer with a 31, and that's ball four. So he takes his base. He's on at first with two outs. Here comes Richardson. Bobby Richardson's been struggling. Batting 178 and a 44. That is ripped for a base hit single. And runner will go to third. And going to second is Richardson with the throw to third. So, two men in scoring position for the pitcher, Turley. Here's a pitch, a 64, and that's strike three to end the inning. So, no runs on a hit and a walk. And we move to the bottom of the second. John Romano leading off the catcher, and he swings and misses at a high fastball. Goes down on strikes. Held, Woody held his next, and he bounces it right back to the mound. Turley feels his position, throws him out. And here's Phillips with a 15, and that's line base hit to center field. So it's a two out single for Phillips. Here comes the pitcher Perry with a 62, and strike three to end the inning, no runs. One hit, that's a third strikeout for Turley. Go to the top of the third. We are playing Apple Classic using the vintage boards, vintage cards, vintage sacrifice booklet, vintage dice 61. Tony Kubik who homered and he's going, that's a 39. That'll be a foul ball again, so 26 and that is hit right back to the mound. One away. Lopez. With a 33, that's line for a base hit to left field. He's on with a single. One out single for Hank Lopez. And here's Roger Maris. Maris back 276 with nine home runs. 56, and that's a swing and a miss, and he goes down on strikes. Next is Mantle with a 54. That's cracked to right field. Kirkland under it, makes the catch, and that retires side. No runs, one hit, one left. All tied at one. We go to the bottom of the third. Temple is up. 23. And it's bounced to the shortstop. Kubik picks it up and throws him out for the first out of the inning. Dillard, who flies out to right. And here he's going to bounce out to the first baseman. Scourin steps on the bag. And Francona. Francona hit a sacrifice fly, scoring... Temple for the only Cleveland run. And here he lines one to right for a base hit. A two out single for a Francona. Big power with a 62 and that's a drive to center field on the run is Mantle and Mantle tracks it down. No runs, one hit, one left. Here comes the top of the fourth inning. Yogi Bear is leading it off against Jim Perry at 55, and that's a ground ball and through the right side for a leadoff single for Barra. Barra has okay speed. He was primarily an outfielder, but he's playing catcher today. Scarron is up with good power, and he swings and misses at a high fastball and goes down on strikes for the first out. Khalid Boyer. Boyer today is, uh, he walked. He's got no at-bats, official at-bats. Batting 316, so he's having a good season. That's a 14, that's ball four. 
Second time he's walked in this game, and that puts runners on first and second for the Yankees. The Yankees are really struggling as of late. Everything's been going wrong for them. They lost a couple of games against the Washington Senators in the ninth inning. Richardson with a 33, and that's going to be a base hit. First and second base hit. Let's see, a 7. It's going to be lined. One scores, and the other to third. So it's going to be first and third RBI single. The Yanks take a two to one lead. And it's going to be Turley. Pitch. And the infield will be uh, halfway, 23. And that's going to be a 28. The shortstop is a eight. Let's see if we can get a double play out of it. First and th first and third, 28, and the infield is back. Oh no, it's they go to second for one, back to first, throw to first, not in time. Field is choice, run scores. The Yanks take a three to one lead now. Hoping to pick up that double play, avoid a big inning, but it was not meant to be. And it's Tony Kubik who's one for two with a home run, and he's going to line one for a base hit here. Going to third is going to be Turley. So it's first and third. Struggling is Jim Perry, Lopez, Hector Lopez with a 61, 24, and that is bounced to second base, flips to the shortstop covering to end the inning. So two runs come in on one, two, three hits. Yanks lead it three to one. All right, Kirkland, boom, boom, Kirkland, lefty batter, 51, and he grounds one to the right side, and that's a base hit. Gets past the diving Richardson. Romano's next. And a 63, a 35, maybe a base on balls, and it is a W walk. So first and second now. And it's Woody Held. And that's a 53 with a 19. First and second, a 19. And that's a bouncer. A bouncer to third. And that's booted by Boyer. Rolls around him and into shallow right field. He retrieves it. Kirkland will score. Going to third is Romano. And that's going to be an E5. First and third now. So the score is three to two. Still nobody out. First and third. Yanks gonna let the run score to avoid the beginning. Phillips with a 33. That's a six with runners on first and third. That's gonna be trouble. That's going to be in the gap. Scoring usually is Romano. They're going to wave held home. The ball's going to get cut off. And the Indians have taken a 4-3 to three lead. Big two-run double by Bubba Phillips. Drives in 6-7 and seven here. And we're going to give, we're going to give uh, held an RBI on that ground ball to third base. I don't know if the computer will, it may not, but. So three runs scored by the Indians here in the bottom of the fourth. And pitching coach is gonna go out and talk to Turley. Jim Perry up now. In the pitch, a 63 is a 35 with a runner on second. That may be another W walk, and it is a base on balls. So Turley struggling here, has lost the plate completely. 
And it's going to be Temple with first and second. Still nobody out. Pitch 22, and that's going to be lined. Ripped for a base hit to left. One scores. And Perry will go to third. Yanks are going to have to get something moving in the bullpen now. First and third. Yanks are going to bring the infield in now. They can't allow any more runs to score. Dillard with a 31. That's going to be a base hit. Stopping at second will be Temple. Scoring is the pitcher Perry. And that's going to be all for Turley. So we're going to have to go into the bullpen, see what we can find. Clevenger, we're going to bring in Shello. No, it's going to, we're going to bring in... Uh, you know what? We're going to look at McDevitt. We're going to bring in McDevitt. Should have him available. I do not have McDevitt available. Nope. So let's create him real quick. All right, McDevitt's ready to go. So he's replacing Turley. He's a lefty. He'll be facing Francona. Francona's a lefty, so that works out perfectly. So McDevitt will be a B here. He's a McDevitt. He's going to be a, a C Y W. But for this batter, he he'll be a, a B Francona. With the runners on first and second, nobody out. The pitch of 36 is a 14. That'll be ball four. It's going to load the bases. The Yanks can't get anybody out. Still no outs in this inning. This is the story of the Yanks. Here's Vic Power with the bases loaded. Feels halfway looking for the double play. 53 of 20. The bases loaded 20 is going to be a hit by pitch. That's going to force in a run. And everybody moves up, run. It's an RBI. And the Indians have batted around. Here's Kirkland. He started off the inning with a single. Pitch for McDevitt. He's back down to C. That's a drive to right. Maris backing up some. Both the Francona second and Dillard will tag up for the first out, but both runners move up. Another run scores. And it's first and third. Okay, so it's first and third power at first, Francona at third, Romano's up, one out. Score is eight to three now. Fourteen, that's a fly to left. This may be another sacrifice fly. Lopez is out there. He settles under it. It's gonna be a play at the plate. And that's gonna be he's safe. So back to back sacrifice flies. Scoring is Francona. And here comes Held, the shortstop. Woody Held. 35, that's ball four. John Phillips, who is two for two today, single and a double. With a 63, and that's going to be a 35. I think that's going to be another base on balls. First and second, 35, and that's ball four. Another W walk. It's haunting the Yankees. 
And here's the pitcher Perry again. Perry walked. Just 15. That's going to be line base hit. Oh, no, actually, that's a C. So he's a C with the bases loaded. That'll be an out. The fly to left. Lopez comes in, makes the catch, and that retires the side. I right, see so you have one. Yep. All right, we go to the top of the fifth inning. Maris Mantle and Barra for the Yanks. The Yanks are now down nine to three. They their pitching imploded here. Starter Turley and then McDevitt didn't help much. Maris leads off and that's a 51. That's a base hit. Eight runs scored in that fourth inning. On one, two, three, four, four hits, an error, four walks. So Maris is on with a single here in the top of the fifth. Mantle with a 32. That's bounced to the second baseman, flips to the shortstop, throw to first, not in time. It's a fielder's choice. And pitch to Barra. Barra is singled and flyed out. 21. That's a fly ball. Right field. Over his Kirkland. Settles under and makes the catch for the second out. Scourin. And that's a drive to center. Dillard on the run. And he runs it down. No runs. One hit. One left. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's going to be Scourin. Um, Scourin just flyed out to center. It's going to be... Temple, top of the order, Dillard and Francona. Here's a pitch from McDevitt, 14. Popped up to the left side. Lopez, Kubik, and Boyer go back. Lopez comes in and he calls them off. For the first out. Dillard is next with a soup. Let's try that again. And that's a fly to center. Mantle comes in a few steps. Two out. And Francona, 51. That's bounced up the middle, and that's through. For base hit, a two-out single for Francona. That's Francona's second hit of the day. He's walked and hit to a sacrifice fly, so he's two for two. He's on at first. Pitch from McDevitt, a 32. Bounces to second baseman Richardson, who flips to Kubek at short to retire the side. top of the sixth inning Boyer leading off pitch from Perry a 66 so that's a drive and a 53 is going to be one hop off the wall that's going to bound away from the right fielder Kirkland digging for three is Boyer and he is safe with a triple the relay was slow in getting there and offline it's a leadoff triple for Boyer here in the top of the sixth inning. Richardson's next. Infield is back. They're willing to let the run score, and that's line. Base hit. Run comes in. RBI single for Richardson, and the score is 9-4. to four. McDevitt is up now, and we're going to let him bat. Pitch 62, and it's a fly ball right field. Kirkland is over, makes the catch for the first out. Kubik is next, and a 51. That's bounced up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Stopping at second will be Richardson. We will be playing it safe from this point on. Lopez is next, and a 41. That's a 24. That's going to be double play, most likely. And that's a tailor-made double play to Temple. Flips to hell the throw to power. It's a 4-6-3 double play inning over. Ouch. Yanks do pick up a run on three hits. 9-4. to four. Cleveland. And here's Kirkland leading off. Pitch from McDevitt, 21. Fly ball, right field. 
Maris. Romano's next. And that is a pop up. Left side, third base, Boyer. Two out and held with a 63. 35. It's going to be a pop up in foul ground behind the plate. The catcher over. F02. That's three up and three down. Go to the top of the seventh. Nine to four. Cleveland. Maris leads it off. He's one for three today with a 62, and that's a 40. Let's be foul back. 45, and that's ball four. So a walk to Maris. He's on at first. Mickey Mantle now. 51. That's line base hit to left. Slaps it to the to left center field for a base hit. Stopping at second will be Maris. Here's Barra now. Pitch from Perry at 15. That's a base hit. Bases will be loaded. And it's Moose Scourin. With the snake eyes. That's a bases loaded five. And that's going to be a double to right. And they're going to hold up Barra. It's going to be second and third. Two RBIs, three and four. So Scourin with a two-run double here. Still nobody out. And uh, it's going to be Boyer. Boyer is one for one with a triple and a couple of walks. And Perry is going to get pulled here. going to be Latman coming in. You know what? I'm going to go not with Latman. Let me, let me go uh, I'm go with Allen. Oh, he's pitched a lot. No, he's, he can come in. He's, go with Allen. Bob Allen, he's a C. He'll be a B here against the... Uh, oh, he's a lefty. So no, he'll be a... Actually, you know what? I don't remember that rule. The I know there's a new rule. Let me see real quick here. Optional pitching rules. Alright, if a relief pitcher enters the game middle of an inning, his grade is one letter. Okay, improves. Okay, so he'll be a B for this one batter. He'll be facing Boyer with second and third. Here's a pitch. 455. That's going to be an out, but it's going to be a sack fly, I believe. He's a, yep, it's a fly ball center field. And both runners will tag up. Scoring is Barra going to third. Oh, Scowin. Um, if I'm playing it safe, you know what? I'm going to play it safe. They're not going to score here. Hold on. I was playing it safe with them. All right. So it's going to be a fly ball to center. They hold. Still playing it safe with everybody. I'm down three runs. And uh, I'm going to officially call the that they're gonna wait well Scowin is slow so he will definitely play it safe Barra is okay and he'll try to score here's Richardson pitch at 22 and that's gonna be a base hit with the runners on second and third a seven and it's a single run one run scores Scowin will hold up And that is Richardson's fourth hit of the game. He's got four singles. Ouch. And the pitcher is up, and we're going to have a pinch hitter. We have one out here. Runners on first and third. The Yankees down nine to seven. Uh, Allen's a lefty, so we're going to bring in uh, righty Howard. 
Elston Howard to pinch hit for the pitcher spot. Here's a pitch, and that's a 21, a fly ball right field. This is going to get, oh, scouring slow, so he'll, he will hold up. Top of the order, Tony Kubik with two outs and two on. And the pitch, a 54, that's a fly ball right field again. Kirkland over, makes the catch, and that retires the side. So the Yanks score three runs on four hits, and they creep back within two runs, nine to seven. We go to the bottom of the seventh. We're going to have a new pitcher for the Yanks.